Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Roads with me, Bregaton. Before we start our journey, I'm going to take the two points that I invested into Punt and put them into Tinker. And that's going to give us each point in the Tinker skill increases blast radius of explosives by 1%. And now we can start our journey. He runs his hands down his arms and legs as you approach, sloughing off waves of red dust. Welcome to Taylor's farm. Jacob said you're on your way. Mate, we're delighted to have you. He claps his hand on your shoulder and gives you a friendly shake. It's good land down near wandering. I haven't seen it myself, of course. Any plot is what you make it. True in some ways, not in others. He nods at the windmill. Sometimes you can do your best. Mother Nature just doesn't want to pay it play ball. Regardless, you'll find the work a little different to what you're used to. Wandering's farmland, but here we mostly raise sheep, camels, and pigs. We keep the roos and rabbits out, and the occasional poacher. Think you can handle it. Wouldn't be here if I didn't. Then let's get you started. He pushes his sleeves up to his elbows and looks around the farm. We've got sheep dung to move into town for the garden, water to fill the tubs in the overnight paddock, and a stuck windmill. There's a bucket and shovel in the trailer for the manure. I won't fall if you can't get the windmill going. It's about time we sent up to Meriden for parts anyway. He peers into the distance. Oh, and a jump buck's gone and got his head stuck in the fence again. Probably bitey. Go on outside and give him a shove back in, will you? Is there anything I should know about bitey before I go and mess with him? Like how he got his namesake? I come and find me when you're done. He heads towards the overnight paddock where a sheep is hobbling around on an injured leg. Alright, player and camera movement. To move your character around the map, left click on an area. White circles will appear on the ground to show what your character and party members are walking towards. Left click is also used to speak to other characters and interact with certain objects in the world. To indicate this, your mouse icon will change depending on what you're hovering over. To pan your camera, you can either push your mouse against the edge of the screen, use the WASD keys, or hold down the middle mouse button and drag in any direction. Introduction to important tabs. At the bottom left of your screen are six icons. From left to right they are Party Inventory, Character Sheet, Moral Compass, Journal, Map, and Menu. Click on each icon for further information. You can also access the Learn menu via the journal to read more about the features of Broken Roads. My party inventory. The party inventory shows your party's equipped items, money, and goods you collected along your journey. This serves as a shared stash of items, but it's not accessible within combat, so be sure to equip your characters with weapons and utility items before battle. To equip and unequip items, move them into their correct slots. For example, you could use left click to drag and drop a hunting knife from your inventory over the pistol to replace it. You wish to split a stack of an item, right click and drag to move only one type of item of that type. Alright, so we've started with a drop bear beer, a 375 milliliter sip of heaven that also increases initiative in combat, somehow, and a small first aid kit. Tiny but mighty, restores 30 hit points plus any bonuses from the user's skills or attributes. Cures poison, removes bleeding. A hunting rifle. This classic rifle is a solid, reliable design, and gets off 5 shots before a reload is needed. A base damage 5 to 8, range 1 to 12, optimal range 2 to 10. Attack AP 3, reload AP 1, maximum capacity, or sorry, ammo capacity is 5. And my damage with it is 11 to 14. We have a frag grenade. The tried and true. I'm not going to read all the stats for it, we don't need to know that right now. A hunting knife. Invaluable in and out of combat. Be used to get multiple strikes off in a single round. Your hat. Old reliable. You've had it since you were an ankle biter. Yeasty spread sandwich. The real thing, albeit one of the most divisive objects in the never never, restores 8 hit points. A small water bottle. There's enough here to wet your whistle for a while. Restores 6 hit points and removes burning.
My character sheet. The character sheet tab gives you detailed information on your character and party member's skills and attributes, and current experience level. This is where you'll assign your skill and attribute points when you level up. The Moral Compass. Now, the Moral Compass keeps track of your current worldview, active moral traits, and philosophical leaning. It also logs your moral history, a short entry summarizing each moral choice you made and which philosophical leaning it was assigned to. As your worldview shifts around the moral compass, so will your active moral traits. These traits can influence how you explore the world and take on combat. Right, so these ones that are currently active, you can see them here. So dignity for all. You care a lot. As a result, some risky shots and area of effect attacks are not possible if you might harm your companions. You do gain bonuses when supporting allies. So you'll see increased benefits from skills such as Barbican and Biology. I'm going to melee build, so I guess that's fine. I wonder if the leadership skills also work off that. I don't you die on me. You believe the strong should help the weak. An adjacent ally with fewer health points is targeted by an attack. This character swaps positions with them, taking damage in their place. The same happens if this character is in the line of fire of a ranged attack that would damage an ally with fewer health points. Plan and Execution This character begins combat with minus 5 initiative. At the start of every round, they gain a stacking plus 5 bonus 2 initiative that lasts for the rest of combat. Greater Good You'll do whatever brings about the best outcome for the greatest number. You only perform actions that could cause harm to a companion if it will cause the enemy's greater damage and receive a 10% plus character level bonus to air effect attacks. Now this character also gains bonuses when supporting the ally with the least hit points. Oh, your, your journal, or the journal. Your trusty journal records any currently active main quests and side quests, update objectives, and keeps track of completed quests along your journey. Alright, so we have to get Bidian stuck from the fence, fix the windmill, fill the overnight water troughs next to the windmill, and collect fertilizer for the garden. <laughs> I like how it says I rocked up to Taylor's farm and met Sean Taylor. Heck yeah, I rocked up. The map. The map shows an elevated view of your current location, with unexplored areas hidden beneath fog of war. It displays landmarks you've come across while in the area and helps you plan where to go next. And menu. So we can't backtrack. Uh, some bottles and overturned tables for makeshift target practice. A screwdriver. A simple but useful tool that doesn't require much training to figure out. It can also be used to tighten screws. Barbed wire roll. A barbed wire roll a day keeps the raiders away. And turpentine. Loved by artists and mechanics alike. Herps is rarely in short supply. Every farmer's heyday starts here, because it's hay. He takes a sip of tea from a battered tin mug as you approach. The gray in his hair catches the sunlight as he puts his mug down and turns to shake your hand. His voice is so quiet, you have to strain to hear. Bloody good to have you here, mate. Good to be here. Good attitude. There's a strange quality to his voice that you can't quite place. Part strain, part whisper. It sounds painful, but he seems completely relaxed. Now what's wrong with your voice? You don't beat around the bush, do you? He gives you an appraising look. Too much yelling is a stockhand. Either that, or it's cancer. Nothing to be done either way. Can't you see a doctor? Only every night, he chuckles. Sarah runs the Brookton Clinic. You told me there's nothing to worry about, so I don't. Anything need doing? Talk to Sean about that, if you don't mind. 
He's got a good eye for spotting problems before they arise. Except for all the problems I have to do that have already arisen. Now, how long has this farm been here? He's silent for a moment. Must be going on 25 years now. We're here before Mick, before Sal. He starts counting on his fingers. Alana had just showed up. Thank God she did. We'd still be eating nothing but rue. Pretty much the only people we don't predate are the scouts. You've got a lot of history here then. Never a dull moment, but a long stretch of years. He scratches his cheek. Tough to put it all into words, but yeah, this is home. Who or what are the scouts? Peacekeepers, hired guns. Just north of here. We spot trouble, we call them. Good bunch. Young, now that Della's not there to lead them. But good hearts. Mostly. Mick. Sal. Alana. Who are they? He gives you a sudden boyish grin. Forgot you're brand new. Don't worry, you'll meet him. Mick's the de facto mayor of Brookton. Leads the barter crew. Sal runs the pub. And Alana takes care of the crops. Cut any one of them. They bleed red dirt. Good solid folk. 25 years. I don't think anywhere had been around that long. It gets to feel a bit that way, doesn't it? That's why, when you find a good thing, you've got to hold on tight. His eyes go automatically to Sean, heading to the injured sheep. I had some other questions. I go for your life, kid. Is that shooting range just for show? He stands up straighter. Go on then. Show us what you've got. Optimal range. Different weapons are more effective depending on the distance from the target. Pistols and shotguns work well up close, rifles from a medium distance, and sniper rifles better from a little further away. Experiment with different weapons at varying distances to work out the optimal range. Your shooting mastery and dead eye skills will also affect damage and accuracy as you improve them. percent chance of hitting. I'm not sure how far away I am. Need to reload. You fired the last round in your weapon and must now reload. There's infinite ammunition in broken roads, but reloading does come at the expense of action points, with the amount of AP consumed depending on the specific weapon. Below your equipped weapon, you can see each remaining round is a bright bullet icon. They are currently all dimmed as your ammo is spent. My goodness. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. Looks like I can't walk around to knife it. Gun range, not a knife range. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> if you say so, buddy. He pats the gun at his hip. I'm glad to see you'll be another lookout who can handle himself in a fight. <laughs> yeah, if you say so, buddy. Alright. I should get going. I embarrass myself. If you need anything, I'll be here. You're back. What do you need? Uh, what did you need me to do again? He counts on his fingers as he talks. 
Get the manure in the bucket to take to town, but the water troughs in the overnight paddock. Unstick the windmill and bitey too while you're at it. Bye. Yep. Got a shovel. Empty bucket. It's a barley. This multi-purpose grain is hard sought after by beer drinkers and breadwinners alike. Empty bucket. A bucket that's never been patched up is as rare as hen's teeth these days. The shovel. Moves dirt, leaves, and piles of crap. What more could you ask for? Alright, got some fertilizer. I plan to get water for the trough first, right? Uh, this is the tub Sean asked you to fill. There's a bucket and hose nearby, hooked up to the water tank. Fill the bathtub. The tub is filled with, well, it's definitely mostly water. The water ripples invitingly in the bright sunlight. The tailors have clearly been keeping the fence in good condition, as the razor uh, wire has not dulled at all. I had to crawl through razor wire one time because gunnery sergeant didn't like that there was trash in it for a deployment where we should have been working. We we're out there crawling razor wire, picking up trash. And that jerk had the audacity to say that if we didn't do it. How do you say it? You don't want Gunny to get down there and do it, do you? It's like, I kind of do. Because he wasn't slim, he wouldn't fit under the razor wire anyway. But boy, I would have loved to see him try. Some scrap. You never know when this will come in handy. Repairs, modifications, armor improvements, or even just a trade. There's always demand for useful scrap. It'll probably be used for the windmill. And since we have to repair the windmill, I'm glad I put those two extra points in a tinker. Hopefully it's enough to fix it. Let's go do that next. The whole structure sways slightly as you climb the rusted ladder. You can hear the straining of the windmill before you can see the me uh, mechanism properly. It's trying to turn in the weak breeze, but something is stopping it. Examine the windmill. It's not moving. Some, part, some of the parts look rusty. As far as you can tell, there's no reason it shouldn't be moving. It just isn't. Maybe some oil would help. I apply oil to the parts that look rusty. You apply the oil liberally to anything that looks stuck. Something behind the veins clicks, and the rotor slowly begins to turn. They couldn't figure that out? I'll leave the windmill alone. Alright, buddy. Just you and me now. This ragged eared jumbuck has gotten its, his head stuck in the fence while trying to eat a nearby bush. He looks up at you with ruminant hatred as he stands perfectly still. Legs splayed from when he braced to try and pull himself free. As you regard his predicament, he lets out a massive fart and a wet slop of manure lands in the dry grass behind him. <laughs> you and me both, pal. His face tenses and he lets forth another torrent of crap, then he calmly resumes chewing. Examine the fence. He shifts minutely, and you see suddenly that the part of the fence he's got his head stuck in is actually a flap, and that he could pull free any time he wanted. A good cheering would make it easier for him, though. Examine Bidey. The wires of the fence look sharp, but they tangle in his wool before they get close to the skin. What's more, 
There's one wire in particular that runs across under his chin at a perfect height for him to rest his head on. He actually seems quite comfortable. Alright, leave Buddy alone. He watches you leave, chewing all the while. Right, you press and hold tab to highlight items, points of interest, and show NPC names. Highlighting interactions. You're back. What do you need? I picked up all the manure. Awesome. Hope you use gloves. He grins. Just kidding. Are you? I mean, I should, I should have gloves. When you're done with everything else, I gave you to help me run it into town. I filled the water trough. So I saw. Thanks. I'll keep these bladders from getting parched during the night. He gives the sheep in front of him an affectionate pat. I got the windmill working. You're kidding. You bloody ripper. He looks up at the windmill in delight. That'll make a hell of a difference on the books. He's been paying the dew farmer's prices, but it's been putting us in the red for months. Next time there's a slaughter, that'll set you up with the good potatoes, that's for sure. Uh, trying to help Bidey seems like a bad idea. You reckon? He seems disappointed. He shrugs. Ah oh, well. I'll get around to it at some point, I guess. I can't... Tell him that he's there on purpose? He takes a look around the farm. Check, 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 check. Good work, mate. Now I've just got to get Limpy here sorted, so we can be on our way into town with that manure. I figured this would give different context, not a definition. Like an odd choice. Feel around the joint for lumps. You tries to jerk her leg away from your fingers as you find tight nodules of muscle, but it moves only weakly. John watches you and nods. Good start. I test the leg by bending it. The ooh woofs, but otherwise doesn't react. John strokes her head. We'll get you on the right track, little girl. What do you think the problem is? No idea. Uh, looks like a moderate sprain. My thoughts exactly. I was pretty sure, but it never hurts to get a second opinion. Thanks. As for treatment, he looks down at the ewe. Find it, rest it. If we had any, I'd say ice it. He looks up, judging the time of day. Sal will be in the middle of prepping for the evening rush. I'll ask her tomorrow. In the meantime, I'll get Limpy here set up to rest. Uh, let's wrap that leg, little one. Now, with Lumpy sorted, we can be on our way into town with that manure. He looks at the full bucket of manure with a grin. Lovely work, eh, mate? Let's get this batch to Alana. Uh, she's gonna be tickled pink. Alana. Yes, Jess's mom. Hence the garden in the middle of town. You'll meet her in a minute. Let's go. Head to town with Sean. I could have gotten Bidey out of the fence, but he didn't. He was there because he wanted to be. I wish that was a dialogue option to explain that. He gives her a big grin. Oh, we brought you more X food for our future food. He pats the bucket. Ought to do you for. The sound of gunfire pops and crackles in the distance, coming from the direction of Taylor's farm. John's hand falls to the pistol at his hip, and he's running back toward the gates. Alright, uh, some more compass traits, don't you die on me. When in combat, your player character will take damage for any adjacent party member with less hit points than you. 
so that's cover. Alright, we're controlling them. It's like, why don't I have my knife? So it looks like this guy's melee. I don't want to get too close to him if I can help it. So I'm not actually controlling him. Melee weapons. When using a melee weapon from a distance, the target is reachable, your character will approach them, spending movement points to get within range to attack. Center weapons cannot be fired at point blank range forcing an enemy to move away, incurring a possible opportunist attack with your melee weapon. Alright, buddy. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Well, I missed with it, but my point stands. Right, so what does maim do? Can I see the effect? Doesn't look like it. Oh, swapping weapons does cost AP. Oh, that I saw that and I just didn't register it. That's all right. Stealing over the corpse of a stranger, swiftly removing anything of value. I think you see a light twitch, but John doesn't so much as give it a second glance. Dead. He scans the farm, gun in hand, before making his way to stand between John and the outer gate. What happened? They caught me taking a leak. Thought they'd get me while my pants were down. Two of them got away with half the sheep, though. He stands and grimaces. His right sleeve is red with blood. Go see Mum. You're hurt. John opens his mouth to protest, then winces. We need those sheep back, son. He seems to be communicating something to Sean, but you're not sure what. John gives a curt nod, and John turns towards Brookton. A few more stitches should do the trick. I'll see you that side. John turns to you. There's a poacher in town, and a cage. Dead ringer. This looks like his lot. The tactics are anything to go by. Go see what info you can get out of him. I'll check for clues here. Uh, don't let Dead Ringer get the best of you. Hey, dollars! When you're all out of camels, top up your tray with some coins from before. And a cleaver. And they said he couldn't hack it. <laughs> Some bandages. Simple but effective. I'll bung it on to restore 15 hit points, removes bleeding and burning. For dollars and revolver. Draw. Cool. Oh, 
Ah. I'll take one more look around and make sure we didn't miss anything. I believe we cleared this place out. Then we'll wrap it up and next time we'll go meet with the Dead Ringer. Now let's see how the cleaver compares to my current weapon. Uh, so 4 to 6, 2 AP to attack. 3 to 6. But it's a knife. I can't keep making the same Crocodile Dundee joke if I swap away from a knife. It's only one damage. I'm going to keep the knife for right now. Also, I wish I could see the hat on my character. That's okay. Alex Atkins. Oh, do these guys have names? Ben Park. I like when games give all the characters unique names like that. All right. I'm going to call it here, and next time we'll head to town and speak to Dead Ringer and see if we get some information from him, one way or another. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.